The views and opinions expressed in this podcast by the host and or the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of the host and or Paranormal Buzz Radio and or its sponsors. Use of any material produced by Paranormal Buzz Radio without express written consent is prohibited. Paranormal Buzz Radio will not be held responsible for you holding your knees, crying and rocking in a corner in a puddle of your own urine, or being beheaded by a group of children in a cornfield. In fact, if you come across a group of children in a cornfield, we promise to make fun of you as you run away screaming in terror. Listener discretion is advised. Caution. You are now entering the all-consuming realm of Shay's paranormal chat, where the things that are better left unsaid are actually said. Shut up and sit down. You're listening to Shay's paranormal chat. Paranormal podcasting done Shay's way. Tons of fun. Dude, seriously? A bit sarcastic. Hashtag investigator, not hunter. But always real. Hashtag data, not evidence. Don't get your panties in a twist. Oh my god, really? This is real, raw conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Shay's Paranormal Chat, TGIF. We are hoping that everybody can hear us. If you can't tell, we're 11 minutes late. Not that she's counting. Technology hates me. You know? You did way better with it than I ever would have. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I'm trying. I Technology is not my friend. And, yeah, there's literally times I just would rather give up and walk away from it than try oh. to figure out why the hell it's not working. Yeah. Matt says, happy Paranormal Unity Friday. Yes. Um, yes. Maybe not by the end of the show, depending on It'll be fun. how people feel. Before we even get going, I want, if you're in the chat, and if you're in the live chat, put in what you think paranormal, paranormal unity is or isn't. Only if you want it to be right on air. And then we're going to go. But I just want to see what people have to say. Um... How was your week? Me? Yes. I guess I'm the only one who can answer her. <laughs> um, it was okay. Uh, work was was work. I managed to come out of my meeting with the auditors without going to jail, so that's always a bonus. Oh. So, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, well, I, I left UNH College yesterday without going to jail, and... You know, without having a nervous breakdown, so that's good. That's good. Yes. And so, like, is she officially there now, then? Um, yesterday was the money part. <laughs> ah. So that, you know, that, that, that's always fun. Um, she's, she's going to the end of August. Yeah. So. That seems like it should be a ways away, but it's, not- it's going to be here yesterday. It is going to fly. Definitely. It really definitely, is. Definitely, definitely. Um, How was... we, found, we found out after... Actually, I can't really... We... I shouldn't say I. We, we, we can't really complain too much. After all her scholarships so far, and the um, she got a grant, um, her tuition's cut in half. But it's still a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah. You know, but college it, is too expensive. It just is. Yeah. There is no reason that it has to cost that much money. No. None. Nope. Um. Yeah. So, but it, it's a little better than what we thought it was going to be. You know, it, we still have the huge deposit due in four days. But besides that, you know. Well, you know. That's all right. All right. 
Well, she can go to college, get a great job, and support you when she gets done. She, yeah, I saw the loan terms. If she, if she can afford it. <laughs> but that's my no. plan. She can live with me forever. Um, I just told my kids that yesterday. I'm like, at least one to four of you has to live with me until I'm dead. Because I said so. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, Kim, okay, we we understand. Kim's at uh, Velisca tonight. Oh, yes. Signal. So, first shout out of the night, Kim, stay safe. I hope everything is good. Have um, a blast. Have, Don't get yes. overwhelmed. Yes. If you do get overwhelmed, step outside. It's amazing how much just stepping outside and taking a few breaths can clear you out and start you over. Yep. I know a lot of her team is sick this week and they were looking for fill ins tonight. I don't know I if know. they found them, but I know they were looking for fill ins. Um, so I hope the team is good. I hope she's good. I hope Allison is good. Um, so there's my yeah. first. I thought about it. I thought about ditching you. <laughs> I wouldn't have ditched you. I'd have done it oh, on the trail. Oh, I would there. have said go if you had said, "Oh my God, I have a chance to go to Velisca." <laughs> no, I would have actually would have done like, it from the car on the ride there. But you know, um, but I'm supposed to go someplace tomorrow night too, and yeah, time so in the day, I'm telling you, yeah, definitely. Right. Well, let me give my shout outs to the first people in chat here. Um. Of course, we have Mr. Matt. We have Kim, as we said. Um, some woman named Kelly. We have Crazy Mallory. Um, Josh Smith. Hey, Josh. Thanks for joining us. Um, I don't know if you're Shaggy or I'm Shaggy, but he says, Jinky Shaggy. <laughs> and nobody has put in what they thought Parahumity is. Everybody is scared to say what they think Parahumity is. Right? Everybody... Talks about it, but nobody wants to say. They're either afraid or they don't know. Well, yeah. I don't know. It's hard to say. I picked the subject. This is all me. And I'm scared. And I... I don't know if I'd say I'm scared. Oh, yes. I I mean, I'm... I'm nervous. Because I... Anybody who knows me knows that I have really strong opinions about things. And they also know that I don't really hold back when I feel something about something. And, and surprisingly, we still get along because I'm the same way. Right. Oh, Matt did answer and I did see that. He said free drinks. Parahunity is it, free drinks. <laughs> yeah. Nothing in the paranormal is free. So, uh, well. If he hmm. wants to give his opinion, I'll give him a free drink. <laughs> Well, but I don't know. Some of para unity is kind of heading that direction where people think things should be free. Or the opposite and cost a million dollars. There's no middle. Yeah. So. So nobody is putting in what they think paranormal unity is. Yeah, everybody's... I, and I think it's a tough question. I really do, because... Depending on the day that you ask me and the mood that I'm in, oh, I'm going to give you different answers. Yep. Because here's here's the thing about it. I absolutely wholeheartedly believe in parity. I believe that it is something that should be a thing. And I think to an extent, it is. But I also think that it's a word that's thrown out there and people take huge advantage of it. Yes. Huge I, advantage of it. Yep. And, and if you great. don't... I mean, if you don't give in to the way they think parity should be, then you're looked at like the bad guy, you know? Yeah. Why and is I think that? That's... Why is the paranormal so, like, we all talk, like, we all say, support one another, love one another, oh, be open to ideas, but the second somebody doesn't agree with you, or doesn't agree with us, however you want to look at it, they put up this wall like I don't I don't get it 
I don't. And, and let me, I'll start this conversation with, say, with saying this. Paranormal unity does not mean blindly supporting anybody and everybody. No. So I don't think there should be any sort of unity that, that involves that. You know, everybody, when you meet them, should get a certain level of trust. But it's a small level of trust. It's small. The rest of that trust and respect should be earned. Yeah. And I think not just in the paranormal field. I think in a lot of fields, that's forgotten. I mean. That you don't get 100% respect and trust and then have the opportunity to lose it. No, 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 no. You get like 15% respect and trust, and you have to earn the rest. Exactly. Well, like, let's take a different field of science, and I've been watching Friends with Kate all week, as you uh-huh. should. So let's use paleontology, for instance. You don't <laughs> see people running around saying, you know, Go ahead. paleontology, paleontology unity. unity. No, because <laughs> you want to. Let's make that a thing. Oh, my God. Like Paleontology just, unity. <laughs> yeah, you want to challenge people. But you, they're not <laughs> knocking each other. I mean, like, I I just don't get it. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's, but do you know what I mean? Doesn't that make I do. sense? I do. Yeah, I, I absolutely understand. I, I think, I don't know. I And these are just, okay, I'm going to say this before I get any too far into this conversation. Everything that I expressed tonight are my thoughts and my feelings. Obviously, they don't necessarily reflect, reflect even what Shay feels and definitely not what the network, network feels. Yeah. And part of this is from my personal experiences. So I mean no offense to anybody. If you're worried that anything I say was pointed at you, let's have a conversation. I did because I, but I also hold the right to change my mind tomorrow. I learn well, new yeah. information. I change my mind all the time. So what I speak is my truth, and it's my truth right now, not Absolutely. next week. For me, para-unity means I'm going to do my, my best to respect the people who are in the field. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to listen to their opinions. And I'm going to listen to their thoughts and listen to their methods for investigating and maybe even go as far as to give it a try. But it does not mean that I have to agree with you. It does not mean that I have to agree with you. And it does not mean that I have to support you when I've given you that opportunity and you blew it. Or if you're out there kind of being doing shady things, you know? I mean, I don't know. I I also don't, I don't know. It's, I have so many things. Even, here's, here's where para-unity bites people in the butt, guys. There are so many things that I would like to say about para-unity, but I am biting my tongue because I don't want people to hate me. See, I, I, Usually in the moment, I don't really care, though. So, I mean, I think everybody at the beginning but needs, needs sorry. a fair shake. It, but once they screw you, they screw you. And there's always room for forgiveness. I'm a very forgiving person. The problem is, is it's a journey for me, and I'm forgiving along the way. So once I hit that point... um. But I'm not one. I'm not going to go on Facebook and comment and troll your and troll on all your stuff and be like, blah, 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 blah. You suck. Oh, because no, it's not done on Facebook. It's done in the background where nobody sees it publicly. Yeah, I don't even really do that, though. I, I try not. No, I'm not it's saying you. Yeah. I'm just saying that happens a lot. Oh, I know. Do you know how many messages I get a week? Of screenshots saying, hey, this person said this about you. This person said this about you. I can't even tell you. I get multiple ones a day. And I'm like, okay. They can message me or they can't because I blocked them. I don't really care. If I have a problem, I come to you directly. And I'm not always nice. I'm kind of too direct. 
But I say it, and you know, and then we go from there and, and work it out. Well, but God forbid you have that conversation with somebody sometimes, you know? I mean, okay. There, everybody approaches this from different directions. Some people are truly, truly into the paranormal just as a hobby, just as a hobby. And they, they're all about supporting everybody else. They'll give the shirt off their back. They aren't, they, I don't know how to say this without it sounding bad. So please, nobody get offended by this, but they're not putting anything into it. So they don't worry about giving it away. There's other people who are working really, really, really hard to progress in the field and to make a difference and to touch those lives and to tell the stories. And sometimes when, whether it's paranormal or whether it's a business or whether it's paleontology, if you've worked your butt off to earn something, it should not just be expected that you're going to share that with everybody else. I and it that. is. And I agree. But it, but it is. How about the I third mean, class? That you forgot the, the third category. How about the people are just in it for the fame and the ego and well, I hadn't got there anything. yet. Well, that's <laughs> I, the third one. I, I had not got there yet, but there's absolutely those as well. Yep. You know, the ones who they and I've seen it and it makes me sad. Because they're out there and they're like, oh, I am I am all about paranormal and being a team and supporting everybody else, but they won't answer messages. Yeah. And they won't ever talk good about other people and they don't they don't do anything to support anybody else, but you better support them. Yeah. You know, and it's it's I I I struggle with this, very honestly, which is the other pe- reason that I hesitate so much with this. Because I, I, I sit here and I think about, well, because I, I was just going to say people are like, look at me, look at me, look at me, you know. But yet, in a sense, sometimes I feel like that's what I'm doing, you know, by but being out there. But there's a It is. You know? It is. And I, I try to be very cautious that I don't cross that line. But there are times that I definitely stop myself because I don't want to be one of those look at me, you should worship me people because they're out but there. But yet you want your opinion heard. So you've got to kind of bring attention to you. But there's a thin line between ego being all me, all me, all me, look at me, look at me, and sharing your stuff and beliefs. The difference is, I think... I'm not just doing things that can be seen and admired by everybody else. You know, I spent a good chunk of the morning today talking to a a gal who had reached out to me pretty early this morning because once again, they hadn't gotten any sleep last night because they're having activity in their house. And she was, she's scared and she doesn't know what to do. And she had reached out to me. I... I wasn't even going to bring it up because there's no reason to bring it up. I'm not helping her so I can say, look at me. I'm amazing. I helped this person. I helped her because I can. I helped her because she needed somebody to talk to. I don't know, honestly, that anything I told her even helped her all that much. You know, I was just giving her advice to try this, try this, try this, and we can try this. This would be our next steps. Um, But it wasn't, I didn't even put me in the equation, you know? I didn't even offer to say, well, let me in the house and see what's going on. And, you know, I, she doesn't need me. If she wants somebody else, she can. I just want the poor girl to be able to sleep at night. I don't know. It's. It's balance. I'm telling you. It's a give and take. It's a give and take. And I'm willing to give. Thanks, Kim. See for, you later. For the things Stay that safe. I'm able to, to receive from this. Yeah. Sorry, I go off on a tangent. No, that's what this, you know, even when you have full, we have a full hour to express what we think and how we feel. It's not that easy. 
I get I get messages all the time about Kelly Stefan's show. And I love Kelly. Let me tell you right now. This has nothing to do with her. We were thrown off. She was thrown off. Nobody expressed themselves very well on that show. So this is nothing to do with her. But I get messages all the time about that show. And it's like, but how do you balance para unity with respect and, you know, it's a tough thing. And, again, nothing against Kelly Stefan. She knows I love her, you know. But I get questioned about the show all the time. But everybody was a little bit thrown off at night, including Kelly Stefan. So I don't want to, you know. Um, is paranormal yeah. unity something that changes? Should it change? I don't think it should. I mean, in my brain, it shouldn't change. But... But it can, and it has, you know. I'm going to be the first person to try to help people in the most, as most as I can. But, I mean, so everybody knows that we host the Expos. I cannot tell you how many people have come up to me and basically said, tell me exactly how to run an Expo. Why would I do that? That's my business. I'm going to give you some tips. I'm going to offer some advice. I'll answer some questions, but I'm not going to give you a step-by-step -step playbook. I've worked for eight years to figure out how to run those expos. And every expo that goes out there, I know people, this is this is one of those para unity things. People think I shouldn't see this, see, see this this way. But every single one of those expos that goes out there is competition. And they're like, well, it's not competition. We should all work together and support ourselves. Well, yes, to an extent, but there's also so many people, there's only so many people who are going to attend an expo in a year, you know? So I don't know. It's And I've had a lot of people come right out and tell me that I'm a bitch because I won't help. And I, I, you I help. You help a lot more than you admit, though. I think. I do, probably. I don't know. You do. <laughs> but then you have the ones that you've helped and you've gotten burnt it oh absolutely also takes away from your like again why if it, this is going to bite me in the ass in six months and I have I mean I and I think that's probably why I have such that it's not all sunshine and rainbows when I think about para unity because I, I've tried to be that para unity supporter and wholeheartedly, 150% gifted that. And it's bit me in the ass a yeah. lot. And yeah. some pretty hard sometimes, you know? Yeah. So, I don't know. I totally, totally get that. I um, But then again, there's the opposite people. And I am not one of these. If you post something, I don't like it, I'll skip by it. I'm not going to... You know, if you support a opposite political person than me, I'm not going to tell you off and unfriend you. First of all, that has nothing to do with paranormal. Second of all, that's just stupid in my opinion. Yeah. But, but then on the opposite, the but then on the opposite side of this, there is absolutely para unity out there. There, there are people who you meet them and you that trust and that respect that we were talking about you earn that trust and you earn that respect and there are people out there that yes i would do anything for because i adore them they are my family at this point you know i mean chris sutton you know i, I mean chris. he is an amazing man he's an amazing man and does that mean that we always agree on everything no no, we don't. But that's but, the difference. You like him for who he is, not for what he thinks or feels. That's right. the, that's the key right there. If we can all say, you are a good person, you respect people, you respect, respect the field, we don't agree, but I'm going to respect you anyways because well, of who you are. 
and I'm not looking at him in a what can I get from you way. Yeah. And he's never looked at me that way. And, you know, I mean, people will kind of comment to me, oh, you're friends with Chris. Oh, you're friends with Dan Class. Oh, you're friends with other people. And I'm like, well, yeah, you know, but I don't look at them and think, what can I get from them? That is not, that's not why I interact with them. I interact with them because I respect them. I interact with them because they are good people and that they have also worked hard to get to where they, they are and that they, they have morals and they, they, they help people and they, you know, I mean, Dan Class, he's, he's preserving a piece of history and that took some balls for him to jump out there and do that. So yeah, I fully understand that he's in New York, but I'm going to support anything that he does in any way that I can, because I respect the man a lot. Yeah, I agree. But I forget who they are sometimes. And I'm, I'm being cautious not to throw out an extra name. I, I'm pretty sure you know who I'm talking about. But there, there's another person that I've recently gotten to be friends with that everybody wants a piece of him. And I can't tell you how many people have reached out to me and said, well, can you get me in touch with him? Can you I give me his phone number? because I get messages. Hey, Kelly's friends with so-and-so. Can you hook me up? Yeah, and it's like, Don't no. ask me again. No, I wouldn't do it if it was my friend. I'm not asking my friend. Right. No, no. See that? Yeah, no. And I forget. I forget until we're out in public someplace and people start screaming his name that I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Nope. Um, yeah. Like Rodney just said in chat, helping should go both ways. Absolutely. You know, I, I, like Dan and Chris, I was Sorry, saying, I, I would. Not about chat. I, no, you're fine. I'm kind of keeping an eye on it. I. Uh, By the I way, would, Rodney is the co-host of Pitt's Pit Paranormal Show into the. Oh, Pit. sweet. Okay. Rodney Kelly, Kelly Rodney. Hi, Rodney. So. I'm, I'm waving at him like he can see me, but yeah, that's me okay. Yeah, too. I'm like. <laughs> um. I forgot what I was going to say. I. We, we oh, I, I think known. that it should go both ways. Yeah. You know, I'm sitting here and I'm saying that I, I'll support Chris and I'll support Dan and, you know, but I know that that goes the other way too. If I picked up the phone to either one of those guys and I said, Hey, I've got this going on. I need some help. They would absolutely be there. And you know, I mean, it should be. Dan flies in from New York over and over and over to be part of the things that, that I'm doing. I mean, you can't, you can't ask for more than that. So it's just, you know, and I don't know. It's it's tough, and I'm constantly, it's morals. It absolutely comes down to morals, you know. I And this is what reminded me of it. My friend Eric just uh, texted me and said that, good show. When I was Hi, on a trip, <laughs> um, when I was on a trip just recently, I was sitting chatting with him about an event that he's got coming up. And um, he invited me to be a part of it and invited me to be a part of the next year's expo. And I was ridiculously honored, ridiculously honored that he made that offer to say, hey, come, we'll give you this. We'll give you, you know, that's amazing. But then I stop and I think, am I taking advantage of him? You know, I haven't done anything for him really yet. So am I taking advantage that he's making this offer to me? I think as long as you can keep a level of that in you, you are not abusing this whole pair unity thing. You know, so my brain instantly goes to, okay, if he's going to help me out with this, if he's invited me to this, how can I help him? I'm going to go overboard to promote his event. I'm going to go overboard, yeah, you know. that's me. And that's what bites me in the ass. But I'll keep doing it. Yeah. And, and so on that note, in the ass. if you bite me well, in the ass and you don't have an open invitation uh, to bite me in the ass, you know, that's different. Now are we talking like literal bite you yeah. in the ass? Yes. Both, okay. Both. You know, I'm being, I'm, I'm trying to throw some, 
<laughs> well, on the note of scratching each other's back, I do want to throw out there, Eric is helping with the Getty, Gettysburg Bash Paranormal oh, Conference. That's not allowed on this show. Something. I'm so jealous. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I'm not going this year. I can't make it work to go this year because I just... Work is I'm keeping kidding. me busy I'm way kidding. up through that Friday. But Before I listen to stop listening, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, end of July, last weekend in July, yes. there is the Gettysburg Bash, obviously. In Gettysburg. Shut um, up, Matthew. Lots of cool names. Sorry. So <laughs> uh, if you're in the Gettysburg area at the end of July, please swing out and support that event. It's awesome. So, yes, I anyway. wish. I really wish. Oh, I, well, and next year, I will be there. Yes. I've already told him and committed next year, I will be there. So, um, yeah. We should, somebody but, should read uh, Mama's Pat's statement before we get too far off, because that okay. sums it up it. really well. Oop, not that one. This one. Okay. Para-unity, in my opinion, should never be self-serving. Para-unity would also never expect people to give if it's going to be harmful to themselves or their business. There are many things that can be given and shared in the spirit of para-unity, but it can't be everything. I like it. It's without ego. It's without being selfish. You have to take your ego out of it. But it's also without taking shit from people. It absolutely is. It it does not mean that I'm just going to, yeah, People try to take advantage of other people in the name of para-unity, and that is wrong. It that is. is wrong. And it you happens, know, that's what scares people to talk about. That right there, because they don't want to step on toes. And I own the network, so we cannot use names. That's a rule. For all the shows, not this one. That's a, that's a rule. You cannot bash people, because that's not cool. Yeah. Um, you know... It's Nor would I want to, because people should form their no, own opinion. No, no, I didn't mean you. I just meant in general. That's, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> Matt and I have very few rules. And there's no hate talk, sexuality, race, that type of stuff. Um, no politics, unless it's... So you can't call me your sexy Mexi? Well, you know, if if you're open to it, maybe. <laughs> um <laughs> That's not hate talk. That's love talk. <laughs> you know, but I'm just saying, we have very few rules, and that that's one of them. You know, you got to be careful because. <laughs> right. But. I, now, sexy Mexi, I lost my train of thought. She's man. magically delicious. Yes. <laughs> Matt says, woo woo. Uh. I we'll don't know if keep... that's about my sexy Mexi or my ass, but. Oh, no, that was Rodney. I take it back. Never mind. We're just heading down dark, deep, wrong paths here. So. You know me. I, I'll throw funniness into something that's awkward just to make it more awkward. Thank, I'm glad you're listening to Rodney. Um, yeah. Well, this is one of those things that people either want to talk about or they absolutely are terrified to no, talk about it. They don't yeah. want to talk about it. Like, really talk about it but they want oh they to don't listen. want to really talk about it no no but they want but to listen I, I, sorry Rodney I, I think the thing that bugs me probably the most about this and mom kind of hit it on the head yeah I will help I will help almost anybody to us you know and I will do what I can but then it's like you give an inch and they take a mile it's like whoa hang on I'm trying to help you and you just made me regret helping you yeah. And that takes a lot to make me go, seriously? You just, really? I didn't give enough? That wasn't enough? I I don't know. I do it's, know. Because I was publicly running pages and doing research before I went public. And up, let's be real, up until recently, people didn't know my real name. Mm-hmm. You know? And that was on purpose, but now I get a, I had to, I took some talk from certain people to uh, <clears throat> change that, but um, that's not why I do it. I don't do this to get my name out there, but I also don't care if I hurt your feelings. My truth is my truth, and I stole that from Kelly. Um, 
you know, like, but you're not like me. But you're not doing this to get your name out there and no, to be famous. That's the worst part but, about it. It's my but there's no know, yeah. reason that you shouldn't be known, Shay. There's absolutely no reason that you shouldn't let people know who you are or that you should be ashamed if people do know who you are. I'm not you shouldn't ashamed be, if people know who I am. But for a long But you time, shouldn't be ashamed that you <sighs> I, I, I know what I'm trying to say, and I guess I'm relating this to myself. I, and it's so stupid, guys. Okay, let me tell you the craziness that is my way of thinking, okay? I have done a lot of things to get my name out there. I know I have. Podcasts, expos, readings, paracons. I know that I'm working on putting my name out there, and people are starting to learn my name. But when somebody recognizes me, I get embarrassed, I get embarrassed, like, oh, you don't know me. I'm nobody. And I got in trouble for saying that, by the way. Um, but, I, you know, I mean, I was, at a, I was at a Paracon not that long ago, and it was me, and it was somebody who was well-known, very well-known. And people would come up to his booth and want pictures of us, of both of us. And I'm just like, no, 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 you know. And I would kind of back up because I'm like, you don't know who I am. But there were people who did know who I was. And then I was embarrassed because I'm like, (coughs) and Mama Pat and I have had this conversation. In the same breath that I'm going to tell you that I've worked really, really, really hard to get to where I'm at, what have I done? (coughs) You know, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I, I just, I'm passionate about things. (laughs) <laughs> There's a line in a song that it cracks me up every time that I hear it. It says, um, some say I'm a little intense. I'm on the bright side of being hellbent. And that's that's pretty much me in a nutshell. <clears throat> yeah. I think so. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm trying to reply as quick as I can to some of these things because I. Are you getting bombarded in the background, too? No, just I thought she was talking about you, so I agreed and comes to find out she was talking about both of us. And <laughs> It's a tough subject because there are so many good people in the field and you don't want people to think you're saying they're not acting in a spirit of pure unity. But the truth is not everyone always has a good grip on what pure unity should involve. Preach, sister. No, that was... It's my... What is wrong with... Well, Oh, yeah, it was. Sorry. I'm trying to read on the screen in front of me instead of my phone, so I'm having trouble. Um, No, I'm not. Although, I do have to say, this is kind of funny. Here's me being a hypocrite. I'm not very successful. I don't, I don't consider Uh, myself. Okay, now I'm using my mama voice. I just put it in chat. Yes, Shay, you are successful. Don't make me use my mama voice. Look at what you've done. Look at what you do. Kelly uses mama like people say, who's your daddy? That's how she uses it with me. Don't let her kid you. Whatever. See, I changed the subject. No, you haven't changed the subject because I'm going back. You and Matt run a ridiculously successful network. Look at how many shows you have. Look at the quality of the people that you've brought in. Every single week, without fail, you put out those banners that you've created And you advertise the crap out of all of us. You have asked for next to nothing for doing all of that. You are an amazing para-unity person. I do it because I believe in every show. I'm speaking for myself, not Matt. Sometimes i got to be careful. But I'm speaking for myself right now. I do it, and I think Matt would agree, but for me. I do it because I believe in every person on this network. That's but you made that happen. Shay, you made that happen. They made it happen. I gave, I, we, whatever. Matt, more, Matt more than me. You know, uh, outlet, but. I love Matt. Don't get me wrong. So, Matt, please don't take offense to anything I'm saying. I know the hand that you play in this as well. But, uh, Shay. Seriously? I'm we couldn't do this without you. We could not do this without you guys. 
You could. There would be there would be another way found. I just Do you really think that I would work this well with anybody else? Do you no, think that anybody no, else would no, tolerate you're me? You're the exception. You're the exception. <laughs> I take it back. You are the exception because nobody else can tolerate you like I can. No. You know. No, cuz I'm here. There we go. I They can't see it, but I'm sure my face is red right now. Anyway, let's change the subject. Because <laughs> we're not supposed to be talking about Shay. I can't. I can't do what I do without Matt. This is so, true. We need Matt as well. Period. And let me tell you, if it wasn't for Matt, I couldn't do the network. But let me tell you, Nicole picks up the slack on the investigating side. She does all the research. She does all that because you know we. We pretty much investigate full time. So it's team effort. You know, Cis Paranormal and Paranormal Buzz are two separate entities. But without the two of them, neither one would work for me. But that's peri unity. That that's is, what it's supposed to be. Because neither one of them expect more or less for me for what they have to pick up the slack in. Yeah. Yep. So. But that's where the pair unity comes in again is, I mean, I'm fully aware of what you do for everybody and the love and support that you and Matt and Nicole put into everything. And if you guys, anybody reached out to me and said, hey, I need a favor. You bet your hiney I'm going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I reach out to somebody and say, hey, I need help or I need a favor, <laughs> you bet, yeah. bet your bottom. What's that saying? That's your bottom dollar. Yeah. I don't know. I always say bet your hiney, but I'm yeah. sure that's not right. Yeah, because I don't. So if I'm asking you for help, not only do I respect you, but I need it, and I'm desperate. Yeah. But I, that's I, all. I just like to give them to credit because this network would not be possible without Matt. This started Matt helping me to continue my show, and it grew from there. So none of this would be possible without Matt. Well, and I think it's hard because not that Matt's a silent partner, but you're you're more the face. You know, you're the you're the name that everybody knows. Unfortunately Mama, for people. <laughs> but Mama, Mama Pat suffers through some of this too because we both host those expos. We are both equal hosts for those expos. But there's a lot of times that people say Kelly's Expos, Kelly's Expos, or a post will be made that says Kelly did a great job. Well, it's Kelly and Mama Pat, yeah. you know, and she's kind of my mat that yeah. she she doesn't get the recognition maybe as much vocally and verbally, but she's she's very much so a needed entity there, you know. Amen. So I don't know. It's tough. I'm way behind in chat again. Um, I've kind of been watching, but, um, um shout, out to, shout out to Darren, who's having a rough day. He's not listening right now, but he, of course, will listen in replay. So I just want to say, hi, Darren. I hope that hi, Darren. better for you. We miss you. You're, <laughs> You're a dork. You're a dork, Mama Pat. My, Matt is my dork, Matt. Does that count? <laughs> I said she's your Matt or something like that, I think, or I don't know. She's I think she I said she's like your Matt or something. I don't know. Hopefully that's what she means. She's a poopy Is she head. Drinking? I've seen her when she's drinking. Yeah, it doesn't take much, does it? No. <laughs> Not that I'm one to talk. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking thank about. You, None of Wolf. us had much to drink. I'm that not night. reading that on air, but thank you, Wolf. I did read it, but I just like being in the background. I like helping people. So many, you don't know how many people I help, and I'm going to continue to keep it that way because I'm helping them for them, not for me, not to get my name out there. Yeah. Twerking yeah. or drinking? I'm confused. If I start drinking, I start twerking sometimes. Does that count? I twerk when I walk. On accident. <laughs> oh, oh, that's hilarious. But true. Well, you know, 
we just got this natural bounce going on. Yeah, I'm bouncy. It's my personality. It's so bouncy. <laughs> I don't know. Hold All on, right, again. so... I think... Sorry. I think the one other thing about Pure Unity, and I am going to say it because it's one of the things that's been irking me the most lately. It's this... Give me, give me, give me, do this for me, do this for me, do this for me. And there's so many people out there right now with their hands out. And it's like, no. You know, and I don't know. We've talked about this a lot. I I really, really, really could use a new night vision camera. Because the one I have isn't very good quality. It doesn't take, take the best pictures in the world. But I'm going to wait and I'm going to save up my money. And many moons from now, when I can finally afford it, I'm going to buy myself a camera. Nobody else should have to do that. No, exactly. Oh, I it's my, yeah, but I don't know. You know, but I, then this was brought up a while ago. But again, if you, I don't do, trust me, I... Hey, Eric. Hi, Nick. Um, you know, I, I there was a GoFundMe started after the fire, and that was a huge deal for me. That was but like, that's different, Shay. But if people start GoFundMe, I who am I to judge you? I don't care. The people that are paying into that GoFundMe, that's their business, and we have no right to criticize because they know what they're paying. Just because just we don't do it. So that that's how I feel. Which is true. But no, I that's Nick from Short Bus. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I don't care. Um, you do what you do, and if I don't like it, I'm gonna go over it. But people know what they're doing. Here's the part of it that bugs me though. There was there was a another um there was another situation where people were asking for donations, and I didn't donate. I chose not to. I received more than one question about why I hadn't donated yet. Shouldn't I be supporting that? See, that that's the thin line again. It's your right, but they but why? should not be asking anybody. But I'm paying for all of my own trips. I'm, but I'm paying for all my own trips. I'm paying for all my own equipment. I'm paying for all of my own fees. I, I'm not looking to get rich off of this. I'm never going to not have to keep my muggle job. You know, I mean, that's not reality. This, you just, this doesn't fun, pay the bills. Yeah. Nor should that be the goal. I, I don't agree, know. but I don't... Care. Now, don't get me wrong. If somebody out there is listening and they want to pay me a, a lot of money, I'm not going to say no. But that's not what I'm after. No. No. No, no. I just don't think it's our right to comment on what two consenting adults do, no matter whether it's sex, whether it's paranormal, whether it's money. Somebody wants it. Whatever. Okay. You agree. You don't agree. Just move on. Which I do understand to an extent. It just makes it harder for those of us that are trying to do it on our own. But it will pay off in the See, long run. Will it, though? Yeah. I hope. At least I know I feel good. <laughs> that's about all I can say. Eric um, says that's a horrible picture of him. And I have to ask... Am I missing something because it there's no picture? Is that what he means? Is I that think that may be what he means. I have no idea. Um, I have no idea. See, Kelly and I don't agree on everything. No. Nah. But we respect each other enough to be like, okay, that's how you feel. That's how I feel. That's paranormal unity. That's friendship, too. Yeah, definitely. And she also has a crush on me. You know. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Who doesn't, though? I mean, all of that. <laughs> yeah, all. 
Oh. Oh, whatever. <laughs> so they can't even see the hand gestures, but that's okay. <laughs> I forget sometimes they can't see us, but yeah, it was totally like hourglass in her. Yeah. All right, Anyways. guys, we have like, we started 11 minutes late, so we have some time left. If you have any questions, put them in now. I have to throw out there that Nick is a great person for Paranormal Unity because he supports everybody. Let me tell you. Well, and Nick is a great example of it. You know, I mean, he's going to be the first one to be out there sharing information about people and supporting each other. And yet he's somebody who has earned that respect. You know, he's they're They're good. They're good. I've watched them investigate. I haven't yet had the opportunity to... Super Shooter, Short Bus Paranormal. Absolutely. I've been friends with them for a while now. Before I even knew they were from Iowa, that just happened to be a coincidence. (laughs) But but they're they're good people, and I haven't investigated with them personally, but I've because they do the lives, they do the videos, I've been able to watch them through there, and they've earned my respect because of that. If and they're just genuinely good people. Yeah. yeah, they're genuinely good people. So, yeah, good they've support. got my support. Absolute pair unity there. If they need something, they can ask, and I'm going to help because I, yeah. I, they deserve it. That That is, I'm sorry if that makes me a bad person to say, you have to deserve it. But, but you why do. do. Why? Why does that make you a bad person? It doesn't, but there's a lot of people who think it does. Why should you fakely support somebody that you don't think deserves it? Because if you don't, then you're the bad person, Shay. God forbid you don't get along with somebody. Because it's a popularity contest? Because it's ego? If I don't respect you enough to support you in private, I am not going to respect you in public. Oh, you would be surprised how much of that is out there, though. But that's the problem at ParaUnity, and this is stuff people don't talk about. Because I can't tell you how many people I see online talking to people. Oh, I love this person. This person's amazing. I'm going to support, 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 and then offline behind, it's like, they're horrible people. Well, but this is what I started why would with. you do that? This is what I started with in the very beginning when I said, that what I can say, Paranormal Unity is not. It's not blindly supporting people. It's not. Yeah. Paranormal unity is not supporting people just to gain something. It's not to stroke your eagle. Ego. Eagle. You know. (laughs) I want to stroke an eagle. Yeah. You know. Um, So... Yeah, it's it's yeah. tough, and people don't want to say this stuff, but... Um, Eric put his definition in the chat Sorry, there. He says, it. nope, I got it. Parunity t- is teams working together without drama. And he said it, 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 it's yeah. fact. He says, I've been in this 21 years and have seen the worst. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. you can disagree with somebody like Kelly and I, I'm sure Nick, Nick and I don't agree on everything. Sue and I don't agree on everything. But... We respect each other enough to be like, okay, that's fine. There's a reason why you think that way. There's a reason I think this way. And, you know, but, oh, speaking of. I know. I'm like, were your ears burning? (laughs) Right? (laughs) Yes, I stroke my eagle. You know, that's one of the nicer (laughs) things I've said. Um. I don't know. It's it's tough. And, and yeah. drama is a huge part of this. It's such a huge part of this. It's like if something does go wrong between, between groups or teams, it's like you have to pick a side. No, what, you don't. Why, is it why the hell knowledge? do you have to pick a side? Is this elementary school? Why is it no. public knowledge? <sighs> you have a falling out with the team. And unless unless they're, well, that's I can't even say that. Unless they continually badmouth you by name, it, you know, that's one thing. Um, but if you have a falling out on a personal level, that should not be public knowledge. Just part ways. Oh, see, this is why it's, this is not a popular subject. It's disheartening the amount of he said, she said, that goes on in the background. And I, I, 
I can't say that I stay out of it wholeheartedly. It, it is hard to stay out of it wholeheartedly. I can't talk. What is wrong with me? Cynthia. Cynthia's Cynthia. here. You got me all worked up. <laughs> it's hard to stay out of it wholeheartedly, but I've really gotten to the point that people will come up to me and say, do you hear what he's saying about? And I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to know. It Does it physically hurt me and or is it going to hurt my business? Is it going to hurt what I'm working towards? Is it going to allow me to not help people anymore? If the answer, if the answer is no, no to all then that, I don't care. Yes. If it just hurts alone. your feelings, if it just hurts your feelings, put on your big girl panties. Yeah. And move on. Exactly. And of course, we have those couple people that you you talk to and vent to, but it shouldn't be on Facebook. I hate Kelly McCarvel because I'm using you because I can. Yeah. You know. And she hates me. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Kelly loves me. She I wants do. to marry me. If I could. Yeah. You're so far away, though. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's tough. And I'm not gay. It is. Neither are you. Well, so, there is you know. that aspect, but, you know, it's you know. a problem. But. We could, yeah, yeah, you know, we'll figure something out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's tough. <laughs> and I just, I try to stay out of it as much as possible. And I, I had a. A situation in my life a long time ago. Well, it wasn't a long, long time ago, but totally not paranormal related at all. But it was a he said, she said situation in my family. And we just had to come to the terms of they can believe us or they cannot believe us. If they're the type of people that don't know us well enough to know what the truth is, then I can't worry about what their opinion is anyways, you know. And yet, in the same token, I bit my tongue all night on this show, you know? Yeah, because there's a, again, it all comes down to balance. Our feelings matter. And they deserve, they, do. they deserve to be recognized. They deserve to be legit. Yeah. But on the same hand, you can't. You can't base everything off of feelings, but you can't completely dismiss feelings. Yes, I have feelings, people. And they get hurt. I have and one. <laughs> I have more, you know, it sucks. And yeah, there, there's going to be times that things happen that it really hurts my feelings. And some of the shit that's been said about me in the background that I've heard and I haven't reacted to has ripped my heart out because it's from people that it never should have come from. Somebody this week, this week, I've been busy this week, but somebody this week <laughs> said to me, how can somebody so unknown have such a public bad persona? And I didn't know which part to take offense to. Were they talking about me? Me. Oh. He said it to me. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, wow. I, I'm like, I need a name. I need a name. I'm going to go get him. <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, who's, ah, uh, it's just, yeah, yeah, see, Sorry. nobody really, people know. today are all about the money and fame and don't care about helping people, yeah, but it should be, yeah, you know, well, thank you for, for that, but I'm, I, it took me a while to get there, but I'm really, I'm okay. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I am fully to. aware not everybody's going to love me, and that's okay. But I'm you know, I fake so you like me. I can't, and that drives me crazy. I it have drives an me issue with you. Crazy. I have an it's issue perfect. with you. I come to you, and again, oh, hell yeah. I've said it a couple times. I'm a little harsh with my words, especially through text. I don't text the best, and it's very straight on, very blunt. But we, if it's meant to be, we work through it, you know. I, I, that's just who I am, though. So if you know me well enough to insult me, you should know me well enough to know that I'm going to say, hey, don't be an asshole, period. Yeah. 
Well, and it's, I don't know, it goes both ways. You know, I've been out there enough. <laughs> I've been around enough people that I've been with the people who their quote, quote, fans come up to, them, to come up to them and they're nice to them, but you can tell it's so non-genuine. There's no true feeling and gratitude behind that, that admiration that they're receiving. But then you can be around somebody else who absolutely deserves that admiration. And they're so humble. They're so humble. And just absolutely, I mean, to take the time to talk to everybody and absolutely remember people, you know, and just, there's a level of genuineness that it, it, it absolutely, um, there's a level of genuineness that I think has a lot to do with it too. And that goes back to, to earning that respect and, and absolutely. So, um, Cynthia, you have permission to talk. Ah, mother. How rude. Sorry for anybody who's on here who doesn't know Pat Craft, mama, Pat, we call her that cause she's my mama or she used to be anyways. Talk trash about your daughter. So uh, how often, so either one of you just cut toxic people out of your life, difficult or nah? Um, so Rami, I, I believe he was asking, um, have we ever just cut toxic people out of our life and was it difficult or not? Yeah, I have. I absolutely have. And, and that's unfortunate that, it, let me explain that though. I, I can be loyal to a fault. When, when I like you, when I know you and I like you and I respect you, even if it's not 100%, and even if it's in the process of earning that, I am loyal to a fault. And I will go out of my way to help where I can and support you and be that person for you. And I, because of that, if we've earned that level, if we've graduated to a certain level, you know, um, Cynthia and I, for example, we've, we've gotten to be so we're pretty good friends. And there's a lot that she could do to me that I would forgive her for, or that we could have an argument and we'd be fine and we'd get over it or that we don't disagree on this or that or the other thing. And she could, she, she could outright use me or abuse me probably multiple times at this point and get away with it because she's my friend and I care about her, but I have a line and I know that some people have told me that line makes you a bitch. I don't think so. I think that line makes me sane I mean, and I know that that seems harsh, but you can push and push and push and push and push. But if you push me over that line, I'm done and I'm done and I will not look back. And it doesn't mean that I hate the person. It doesn't mean that I'm out to destroy the person. It doesn't mean that I'm going to walk around talking crap about that person. It just means I'm done. And it doesn't mean that I have to pretend to everybody else that I still like them whether it's para unity or outside para unity, because I can tell you outside of the paranormal, I've had the same situation. You can abuse me to a fault, but when I'm done, I'm done. And unfortunately or fortunately, this is a place where Mama Pat and I disagree. When I'm done, I'm done. And it is not difficult. She has a harder time with that. But, um, yeah, no, it's okay. I am who I am, and nobody's approval is necessary. I am most definitely getting there. What? Oh, I'm like, I have an issue with Kelly. What did I do? I wait every day. I came out and saw you, Eric. Was that not a birthday present? Come on. That was my birthday present. was my trip out to see you. Yes, yeah, my birthday <laughs> present, too. You came to it see It was. Yes. It was a joint birthday present for you and Eric. Was Eric in Gettysburg? Did I get to meet him? Um, Eric would have been sitting out at the lookout table. In between the speaker room and where I was. So, yeah, you. I think you probably met him or at least saw him and said hi, I would guess. To respond to the chats. That's a good and humorous comments being made. I know I want to respond to the comments too, Mama Pet. Um, short bus will. Aw, thank you, Nick. Done is done. Yeah, and that's it. I mean, it seems harsh, Sue, but when I'm done, I'm done. But I'm going to go through a whole lot of abuse before I get to done, unfortunately. Yeah, but, me too. But let but me tell you, done, I I'm keep done. saying that 
that line I draw in the sand is getting shorter and shorter every time. <laughs> Eric says he's the sexy chubby guy. <laughs> Dude, I was going to say the same thing to you. How funny. <laughs> Oh, uh, very well. Part of that's true. What? No, God damn it! You're gonna take that wrong. Yes, that would have been Eric. Let's just put it there. <laughs> you guys need to quit cracking me up because I can't read this. Hey, um, and that's how anybody that knows me sarcasm. <laughs> you know, sarcasm is my defense mechanism. Jokes. That's how I deal with yep. things. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Plus, I'm just freaking hilarious in general so wow i think i think we can all work on pair unity guys i uh, this is going to be my soapbox speech go i think we can all work on pair unity and i think we could all do a better job of it or all is a very uh, all-encompassing word i think there are a lot of people out there who could do a better job at pair unity and i'm probably in that group as well so I think if you've got nothing from this show, walk away from here tonight thinking, I'm going to try to do a better job. I'm going to try to keep drama out. I'm not going to encourage the drama. I'm not going to spread the jo- drama. And if people come up to talk to me about drama, I'm not going to listen. Support your teams. Support the other teams. But that doesn't mean that you have to go overboard and tell them how wonderful they are if they haven't earned it. But do pay attention to who's earning it and who's not, you know, reward those who are working hard and, and, and be sure to throw out a like to those who are just doing this for a hobby. You know, um, you never know what people are doing in the background. And I think that's the thing that I've probably learned the most of anything is we all go through our struggles and we all have, so many things that go on that we just don't talk about. I can't tell you the questions that I answer every single day to help people out building their intuition, spirits they think they have in their house, haunted locations, events, every day, guys, every single day. I don't talk about it every day because I'm not doing it because I, I want a pat on the back. I'm doing it because I was there once. I was, I was the new person. I was the one who didn't know how to build my intuition. I was the one who was put in an awful situation and I had to worry if I was going to have any support still. I, you know, everybody's been through crap that's in the background that not everybody knows about. You don't know. Just be kind. That's really all that para-unity is. Be kind. Don't take advantage of other people. And don't let other people take advantage of you. Amen. Boom. There's Good my Eric. soap. Good, Eric. I'm glad. That's what That's what it should. You should feel we the got love in the room. But He's love being funny, in but here. in true. It is. You know, Mama Pat makes a point. She says, I help because this is my passion and my payback is is the good feeling that I get from helping. That's absolutely true. It's absolutely true. You know, this, this last weekend, yes, I had a blast. I had a blast going out where I was, but I didn't do that for me. I did that to help them because they have this amazing little location that, that I thoroughly enjoy. And I think it's great. And the spirits that are there are amazing. And the owner who was my guest last Wednesday She's phenomenal. She is great. I, she's so much fun. Yeah. And she has put so much heart and sweat and blood into that place. I'm going to support her until she gives me a reason not to. You know, I, I've met shady. her twice. Yeah. But Am she's I- amazing. And I'm going to help her. And I'm going to help make that place a success if I have any say in it. So. I have to interrupt you. Sue says, I try to help and only hope that I succeed. I can already say you have successfully succeeded, Sue. (laughs) Say that fast three times. (laughs) You have already successfully succeeded, Sue. Successfully Um, succeeded, Sue. Successfully succeeded, Sue. If anybody missed it, uh, sorry, I, here we go. (coughs) If anybody missed it, 
I always say Nick, 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 but Sue. I love Sue. Go to Short Bus Paranormal, their page, and you'll see a video. Um, you'll see a balloon and something on a bed. And you want to know what kind of person Sue is. Not only look at the awesome activity that happens on that video, but look how she talks to the spirits. That is Oh, Sue. absolutely. That is Sue absolutely. right there. Period. Well, and a shout out to Brian and um, Amy as well because they're yes. amazing. Oh, people, yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think there might be one other on their team. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I'm forgetting other people on your team. But everybody's amazing. Cat, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> I'm, I was impressed with myself that I remembered all four names because, you know, I barely remember mine. Yeah. Ask my children. They'll tell you how good I'm at at names. Oh, Kate, eat me. I'm, you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> uh, I got it too, Pat. I just, I, I got his joke too. I just kind of. Um, got busy. <laughs> yeah, Sue does have a heart of goals. Um, yeah, absolutely. And there's a lot of people out there like that. You know, I mean, I, I talked a bit about Cynthia and Roland. I mean, they they have busted their hiney since Roland they got out there. Roland is a pain in the ass, but yeah. Roland is a pain in the ass. He is, but I love Cynthia's him to death. A Parsh She's a Cynthia, saint. oh my God, that woman deserves a but medal. But love them both. They both have a heart of gold and will do anything to help you. Love Roland, you, Roland, if you're listening. Oh, I tell him all the time he's a pain in the ass. He knows it. But that's part of the reason I adore him is because he does make us think and he does ask those questions and he is just a pain in the butt. But that's a great example of the team that they're they're newer to the field, but they have come out swinging and they are fighting, and they are working hard to get themselves out there, you know? Full respect. Full respect for that. So, yeah, I've supported them a lot, and I'm going to continue to support them because I can see how hard they're working to earn that. Yes. Same with Short Bus. Same with um, a lot of people. I can't even think of all the teams that are if out there. If we but start naming. Good God, we'll never end. Yeah. It will never end. We'll just you guys have any it. questions, throw them in now because we're getting ready to wrap up soon. We always say and that. And there's nothing I can say at this point that's going to make people hate me more. So fire away. I what we questions did really we have. good. <laughs> I just, you know, and this is honestly, whether it's para unity or just me in general, this is kind of a me thing. People either love me or hate me, and I'm okay with that. This yeah, is who I am. I'm not going to be fake for you I don't to like be. me. I can't live with me. I am who I am. I hate it. me sometimes. I mean, really, Matt, I do. We're not going three hours, but thank you. That we could, Matt. Do you want us to go for three hours? You have to hang and chat with us the entire time. All right. Matt, do you Matt, know? Matt, in all the time, he'll disappear soon. Now that we said that, in all the time, what? In all the time that we've been doing this, I don't think I've ever heard Matt's voice. I should go listen to him. I know it's out there. I'm just a horrible person with no spare time. Oh, I've heard Matt's voice. You've heard it enough for both of us? Is that what you're saying? In my head. <laughs> I, can, I can probably copy it. Can you? Well, well I want an example. He, this is him. Well, hello there. <laughs> Is it now? Yes, that's him. <laughs> All right, then. Yes. <laughs> oh, too much fun. Yeah. Too much fun. Oh. Thank you, Sue. So did you, did we ever get around to giving you a chance to say what you're, I keep talking over you. I'm so sorry. I know you're talking to me because I'm the only person you're talking over, but I don't remember you talking over me and I just feel like I've talked a lot the, no I have to I think it's been fair <laughs> anywho yeah we knew when we were going into this that it was going to be a little bit touchy and again I'll repeat what I said at the beginning I mean no offense to anybody in particular I'm not pointing fingers at anybody in particular no. if I have a problem with you you know it <laughs> rest assured if I ever oh. have a problem with you 
You know it. Oh, guaranteed. I don't know how to not keep it from you. That That's <laughs> my thing. I'm not even kidding. I had a meeting at work this week, and it was going to be a conference call. I was figuring out how to disable my camera so they couldn't see my face. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a show like that recently where I shut off my camera and Kelly said, you put it back on. Because I need in to a be a private to... message. She's like, you put, your, you put your camera back on. Yeah, I, well, I need to just have someone else rolling their eyes besides just me. <laughs> uh, if anybody is a fan of the show, they already know which show right. we're talking about. I was. Gonna, I <laughs> oh, laughed. it was a tough We're not going to mention the show or why, but I only laughed out loud once. I was <laughs> good. <laughs> that was too funny that something got said. She's like, ah! It's like, <laughs> you're not supposed to do it. <laughs> I didn't even pretend it was about chat. I just let it go. Oh. <laughs> uh, like I said, I don't hide what I feel very well. Oh, I'm missing chat again. Sorry. I'm reading Wolf's thing. For anybody who's not in chat, I'm going to read Wolf's comment. Thank you. Um, one last thing to say to each and every one of you. I'm Sisters Paranormal Investigation Service, uh, Sisters Paranormal Investigation Service, Short Bus, Raven Rose, also you, Kelly, and Matt, and anyone else that I miss in the paranormal field. You are all very good at what you do, so I say to you, thank you very much for all that you guys do every day of the week. Wolf is a great guy. Let me tell you, I, I Wolf stumbled upon me. Wolf's got to stop that. <laughs> he he is. I can't even tell you how long he's been supporting me and Sis Paranormal. Um, and great guy, great guy. And Cynthia yeah. says Raven Rose is behind you as well. We love you guys more than we can express. Ooh, all are amazing. Thank you, guys. Yes. Yeah. It's the stupid little things like that that mean more than you know. Yes. And Kelly's getting all... T- not that it's stupid. Don't take that wrong, Wolf. That's not what I meant. But No. No, but that means something, doesn't it? Absolutely. Like, Wolf wants nothing from me. Never has in the year no. or so I've known him. He's never asked me for one thing. Nothing. But, oh, my God, the support... The support yeah, that he's offering. The support offered. and the love. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And Absolutely. he sees me share a page, and he, he's like, you, you're you telling me to like these people? I'm going. You know. And, and he's going to at least go give them a yep. shot. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yep, yep. I have been, you know, I've talked a lot about all the crappy people that I've met and all the things that, all the drama and blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to say... I I have met some of the most amazing people doing this. And I have been blessed to be able to make friends with people all across the country, you know, and in yeah. a few other countries. And it's it's crazy that it's crazy the relationships that you can build. And the friendships that you can build with people that that you may never even meet. I mean, God, Shay, how long have we known each other before we actually met each other, you know? Yeah. And We were doing shows together before we knew each other. Yeah. Like, that's how we met. But literally, I mean, there's, yeah. there's Florida and New York and Rhode Island and California and Texas and Canada and... Australia and the UK and I mean they're just I, I have people from everywhere that I that are my friends so yeah guys there's there's a lot of drama out there and there's a lot of bull crap that goes on and a lot of people who are out there with with their egos and their money grubbing fingers and yes we could focus on that and we could put all of our energy towards that but let's not let's put our energy towards those people who are out there who are amazing I, and who, go ahead. Uh, the people out there who are amazing and who are doing things for the right reason and are just genuinely good people. What are you going to say? I was going to say, 
because it's getting kind of sappy in here. Um, that <laughs> that number one, I've met some great people all over the place, but I think I was an Iowan in my past life. Because Probably. some reason, people from Iowa like me. Where people in New Hampshire that, like, my neighbors don't like me. So I think I was an Iowan in my past life, and that's why. Yeah. And there's absolutely some of those people that you meet that it's just you soul connect with them. Yes, yes. It's, I know, I'm being funny, but I, I mean it at the same time. But it is. I mean, God, we we got together and drank like we've done that all our lives. <laughs> you know? We, I mean. One of us enjoyed a tight snatch. Well, yeah. Well, we'll leave that up to your imaginations. They may have had one or more tight snatches. Yes. If you're wondering what we're talking about, we are not going to tell you. We go back and listen to the Gettysburg. <laughs> yes. Episode. Go back and listen to our Gettysburg recap because, oh, my God. We had a good time. <laughs> and Mama Pat didn't kill you or me. I know. And she only gave me the mama look once or twice. So And it was because you know. of me. Every time I did something, you got the look. Yeah, well, you know. That's all right. Yes, Rodney, you heard me. Snatch. <laughs> I did not stutter that time. It wasn't just snatch. It was a tight snatch. Tight snatch. Tight snatch next to the Vigilant Here's- Hose Company. Here's a hint. It's a drink. (laughs) It can be. (laughs) See, now she's misbehaving. What? (laughs) I never misbehave. Yeah, right? Dude, if you ever drive with Kelly, wear your seatbelt. Whatever. It had nothing to do with seatbelts. It had to do with people in my back seat. Um, that U-turn... That you pulled that was like a V oh, shape okay. that had nothing to do with the people in your back seat. Uh, well, uh, I I warned you guys that I was going to turn, and I I knew what I was doing. The doors were shut. First it was of fine. All, when somebody warns you they're going to turn, you don't think it's <laughs> going to be a V or a W. My car turned sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I love my car. See, yes, this is the fun, crazy, Shay's paranormal <laughs> chat. We, we, this is, this is. I would like to say it's on purpose, but it's not. This is just who I am. I'm crazy <laughs> and, and and insane. And Nick's like, what the hell are you talking about? Well, Nick, see, I crossed a state line to have a tight snatch. No, yeah, that was, yeah. We tried to do three states. We tried to do bar hopping in three states, but... We only made it to two because Virginia was an hour and a half away, and you shouldn't really drink and go that far away. Yeah, it was all good. Yeah, you know. Right, Mama Pat? Oh, my God. Every time that door opened, my ass popped out first. It was like, boom! <laughs> That's what I just said. I'm like, right, Mama? We were That's- spring-loaded into that car. <laughs> we were. I was, let me tell you. And everybody thought I was kidding until Nicole had to open the door for me, and she almost died. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> they opened no the door. Two, and... <laughs> there's no way two of our asses should have fit in there. Never mind three of us, and then you, it's my ass on top of it. You know, <laughs> you know the cans of the spring-loaded snakes. Where you open the lid and the snakes pop out. It was kind of like that. Not kind of. That's what it was. <laughs> the rolls just kept going. Once you open that door, it unlocked. <laughs> Boom. It kept going. It did, let's just say it didn't get any more graceful as the night wore on and the alcohol increased. <laughs> I think I had four margaritas that night. That's, that's, that's insane. I think you may have had more than four, because I want to say you had three before we ever left the restaurant. Well, all right, but still, that's a lot. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it was. I know I paid for one or two. After that, no clue. 
Yeah, yeah, you didn't. I was paying for him after that, and we had the conversation of expectations. It didn't happen. Did we share that on this show when we were? No, no. Oh, my God. Do we have to share that story? Because it's hilarious. Go for it. <laughs> All right. So we've totally straight. seven. Wait a minute. Back up. Mama Pat, I did not have seven margaritas. I did not I pass out. No, it was a lot. It, it was, it was a seven. lot. No. Okay. So this is totally off topic, but I have to share this story because it is hilarious. So we cross the state line into Maryland and we go into this bar and there's five of us and we've had a little bit to drink at this point. And this cute little waitress walks up to us. She couldn't have been more than 22, 23 years old. And we're giving her a hard time from the beginning, right? She was great. She was amazing. She was amazing. But at one point, Shay, we were getting her another drink because, <clears throat> yes, I think seven might be accurate. Um, I something had one the, drink at that bar. The conversation of paying for her drink came up, and I said I was getting that one. And she's like, I, something about, you know, you don't have to pay for my drink. I'm like, yes, I do. You need to put out now because I've paid oh, for your drink. Oh, I did have and, a second one. No, yes, you did. But yeah, go ahead. This is so that's about the time that the waitress walked up to the table. As I was, as I was saying, I expect you to put out tonight. Stop. Pause. I open my mouth thinking <laughs> Kelly's going to blush and back down. That's not what happens. Continue. So she opens her mouth, to, yeah, to, to protest and think, haha, funny. And I turn and I look the waitress square in the eye and I said, look, we have been talking online for over a year over a year. And I realize that this is the first time that I've actually met her in person, but I am paying for her goddamn drink. I expect her to put out. Is that unreasonable? And we're all just staring at the waitress at this point. <laughs> she is just slack jawed staring at us like, Oh my God, how do I answer this question? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It I was mean, best. Nicole can put up with me, but even Nicole breaks. Nicole's like, no, don't say that. Kelly was dead. I'm like, here we go. You know. <laughs> nope. She went, not only did she meet my expectations, she went way above and beyond. <laughs> it was craziness. It was absolutely crazy. Oh, it was such a good time. It was. It was. Uh, it was too much fun. Yep. Anyways. Uh, He's not talking to me. He didn't buy me a drink in New Jersey. No, he bought me a drink in New Jersey. Yeah. He bought me a beer, and it was a yeah, delicious beer. Nick, it was awesome. It was fun. Uh, good night, Cynthia. I think that's saying good night. Hold on. i got to catch up. It's scrolled. Uh, okay, wait. Yep. Okay, ladies and gents, got to get ready to help roll in with his show at 9. You are all invited to Raven Rose Page. Yeah. Um, oh, it's nine o'clock, so I will go back in time and I will try to check it out, but no promises. <laughs> yeah, it was a good story. And yes, Eric bought me a drink in New Jersey. It was awesome. Uh, you'll have to tell me more about Eric off air because if he was there, I must have met him. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. Um, I'll remind you where he was at because I, yeah, I'm sure you did. Yes, yes, Sue. Sue. Oh, my God. You would like us even more. Oh when we God. finally drag her hiney out here to Iowa, oh, yes, we'll go investigate you. some places, but we will have one night of drinking and shenanigans. We will. Absolutely. Oh, we'll have, no, no, no. If I ever make it to Iowa, there has to be multiple nights of drinking and shenanigans. The rest will be paranormal. Oh, okay. Okay. That works, too. Eric, you were smoking... He's pretty tall, blonde. I, I, he's bald, but I think he used to be blonde, would be my guess. I, I confused him. You'd recognize him if you saw him. He had on a... Yeah. I'm sorry, oh. Eric. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I've met so That's many right. people. There were a lot of people. Oh, my God. Can you imagine drinking at Edinburgh? I also, by the time I got to Gettysburg, I ignored people I was smoking with outside after what happened in Manchester. I made it a point not to really talk to people. What happened in Manchester? 
some guy started telling about my show and my life story to people I didn't know, but I didn't know him. But he knew me. It was kind of How weird. did he know you? From the show, How? supposedly. It was kind really? of Really? Huh. Not huh. that that's a bad thing. That's not you're creepy at all. It just kind of freaks me out a little. I'm not used to people coming up to me that I don't know saying, hey, remember when you said this on air or she, that's, yeah. she swears all the time. If you don't like the fuck word, don't listen to her show. And I'm like, do I, and finally I said, do I know you? And he's like, no, I'm a fan of your show. So he gets it, but. Yeah. Yeah, I that was when I was in New Jersey, and that gal's like, "Hey, I know you," and my my response without even thinking about it is like, "Probably not. I'm not where I belong," and she's like, "No, you're Kelly. I know you from online. That's I follow what happened. you." I'm like, "No, you're and I'm like, me. yes, I do." Oh, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was my response. I'm like, "No, I don't belong here. I'm not where I belong." He and was she's a like, no. great guy. Spoke oh, very yeah. highly of me. She's <laughs> saying that's a little creepy. It is, but it isn't because I put myself out there. But it's yeah. the first time that's ever happened because normally I recognize people's names and stuff. He's like, no, I work third shift. So I'm not in chat, but I do listen. But I don't do chat. So nothing bad happened, and he didn't say anything bad, but that's the first but time. But it's I've weird to happened. have people know you that you don't know. It is, it's just, there's this moment of, oh to it yeah. but to third shift guy who's probably going to listen to this on playback hi <laughs> yeah and he said thank you because you know you're welcome because my craziness needs to help somebody <laughs> if nothing else we'll just make other people feel a little more sane and i can't read that says nick pasciuta not sue nick said it's a oh nick said it's a little creepy i'm trying to read the computer for once and she can't see unless it's up close to her nose, so... I even have my glasses on. I still can't read. True. Yes, Mom, we would probably fall over something and break a leg if we were drinking at Edinburgh, but, you know. I don't drink for paranormal it's investigations. Little... Well, we wouldn't be investigating that night. We'd just be mixing spirits with spirits, but... <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. No. All right. Okay. Did I miss any questions? I think we've... Yeah, it's been one know. hour. I think we've hit them all. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> more like seven drinks, but who's counting? Yeah, I saw that. I did not <laughs> have seven. If I had seven margaritas, I, no. I, I would like Nicole to chime in with a count here, because I'm pretty sure she's she's got a count Nicole on this. Babysits, but. Nicole babysits Friday night, my, my little niece. Um, so she's not in here, but I did not have seven drinks. I would, if I had... Seven margaritas. We were drinking for hours, Shay. I know, but I mean, it was like what nine hours that we were drinking. I don't know. It was a while. It was a long time. We That's sound like exactly. horrible people. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And Disclaimer: you, Neither you know Shay or I are alcoholic. The worst part is about meeting people in person. They hear me on the, the radio. Smell? Well, yeah. But they hear me on the radio and think I'm going to be that way in person. If it's a small group, if it's a small group of people, this is how I am. But you get me at Paracon with a room full of different energy, different people. I'm pretty awkward. I just can't handle all the anxiety that, you know, takes me a while to warm up. I am your people, Sue. I am. Most definitely. Oh, she fit right in. Eric, you have a chance to make it up to me then. <laughs> yeah, because you have to come down and see me again in Gettysburg next year when I'm there, right? I right, feel right? bad. I do feel bad. Uh, I'm not a mean uh, person. Like, I forget my dog's name half the time. Well, and honestly, you are more shy when you meet people face to face. Yeah, in big it's groups. It's far harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, big groups. I don't. I'm not even lying. I don't do well. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. It's, well, 
shot small groups I'm good or add alcohol I'm awesome <laughs> but walking into a paracon with all the nervous energy and the different people and the egos and the different levels of things and I don't do good I don't do good in crowds anyways I have a, yeah. I have social anxiety to tell you the truth so that's okay though yeah. We will make sure that a proper introduction is made next time, Eric. Promise. Uh, I have to wait that long? Because now I'm curious. Well, I don't know. You're going to have to figure it out without me because y'all are on the East Coast and I'm not. He's on the East Coast? Oh, Gettysburg. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's... Wait a minute, to Matthew. Him. No, I won't be shy when I meet you, Sue. As long as it's a low... Small group. What do you mean? Yeah. I'm pretty intense. It's pretty intense. Does that mean I'm pretty intense, or the group of people's pretty intense? It's pretty intense being at a paracon, maybe. All right, I hope so. Because he's. Supposed We're gonna to give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> he, yeah, he's supposed to like me or pretend to like me. <laughs> Wait, we just talked about not pretending to like people if you really don't. Remember? That doesn't count for exes. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Matt. It does. It, it is. I know. I, I. There's certain people that I'll pick on in a crowd because I can, and Kelly's one, Matt's the other, and yeah. a couple others. But yeah, yeah. Paracons can have great energy or weird energy or both. Or I see a kitty. Yeah, that's my kitty. All right, she's guys. been good up till now. Yes, <laughs> my dog's been sitting next to me for a while. Um, let's see. Hold on. I gotta announce a couple things here. I'm back to announcing at the end because I told hosts to stop announcing because things change so much now. Yeah. Um, well, while she's looking, I will potentially yes. be at a new location on Saturday. Um, we have the opportunity to go into a building that's never been explored before and that, uh, Basically, the people that lived there just upped and walked away from it in the 50s. So I believe that's where I'm heading on Saturday. So be watching for some go-lives from that. And I'm sure I have other stuff coming up in between. But, of course, we have the Cedar Rapids Psychic and Paranormal Expo coming up on July 20th and 21st at Marriott, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. We are going to have a phenomenal lineup of people there, um, including the lovely Raven Rose and uh, we'll have Mike Ricksecker there as one of our vendors. And we also just announced that we will have Brandy Green from Ghost Hunters International. She, uh, team. I know. It's, that goes back to that just, I'm really lucky. I have been very, very lucky. And I'm excited about it. So, um, But yeah, Brandy uh, agreed to come up and be a part of this event, and we're super, super excited to have her. If you guys have not had a chance to meet her, swing by, say hi. She is another one of those people that um, I I will admit that I don't know her well yet, but she just seems very genuine, and I I hit it off with her. I really do like her energy a lot, so super excited that she's coming. So yeah, okay. And yes, if you guys get a chance, if you're in the East Coast, anywhere near Gettysburg, or even if you're not, I mean, I drove from Iowa, for Christ's sake, go to the Gettysburg Battlefield Bash the last weekend of July. I drove from New Hampshire. Well, I didn't drive. I was a passenger. But still. I drove. No, not me. Yeah. Short bus will be in the house. Uh, next time you'd make that long, of a, I'm going to pray for Mama Pat's safety. Whatever. All right, here's my announcements. I have nothing coming up except for investigations, which I don't share. Um, no show tomorrow night, but no, sh yeah, show uh, Sundays. The skeptic and the psychic that um, join Jen with uh, Dale and Jan. That's a mouthful. Um. They're going to talk about what it's like being an empath. And then, of course, Monday, July 1st, we have the Dr. Gina Show. It's uh, Season 2, Episode 1. It's the introduction. So join us then. 
and of course into the pit tuesday july 2nd and there is no show wednesday thursday friday will be a pre-recorded show and then saturday into the abyss with peggy gypsy is back dun 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 so those are my announcements you too next awesome. thank you Awesome. Okay. So, this is your this is your part when you're done reading. What am I talking about? Uh, you do the shout outs at the end because I'm too lazy oh, gotcha. to read everybody. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Yes. All right, I'm on it. Hang on. Scroll to the bottom. As shout outs always come with sound effects, <laughs> makes it more fun. Vroom. Down to the bottom. All right, big shout out to everybody in chat tonight. Um, thank you, Miss Kim and Matt. Josh Smith, he was in there for a minute. I don't know if Matt, Josh, are you still listening? Um, I already said Matt. Mal was in there for a little bit. Uh, Wolf, of course, and thank you again for your kind words. Mama Pat and that crazy Shay lady. Uh, Rodney, super nice to get to know ya. Da 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 da. I'm scrolling. They see me scrolling. That's not a song. Um, I wrapped there for a second. <laughs> no. Why the hell would I have done that? Somebody stop me now. I know Miss Cynthia was in there. And, of course, Sue and Nick and Eric. And let's see. Wolf. I already said Wolf, I think. Um, as always, I think I'm probably missing people. Yeah, that's why we do it at the beginning and the end, because we can't always scroll all the way back. But again, shout out to Darren. Yes. Um, we missed you. Yes. But, um, and there's somebody else. Hold on. We met. Let me think. Ah, oh, now I forgot. I forget. Nothing new there. What are we forgetting? I don't know. I wanted to say something, but I forget. <laughs> see, Matt's with me on that whole they see me scrolling thing. Yeah, it sounds like Florida Georgia Line trying to rap. No, it was, God, it's not Florida Georgia Line. It's it's an old song. They see me rolling. They're hating. Like rolling, uh, rolling, rolling. That's all I keep thinking. No, yeah, that's so not the right song, Shay. <laughs> Is that Eric blowing your phone up? Yes, that's you're what supposed you to in shut the your notifications off during shows. Eric, you got her in trouble. Oh my god! All right, we're gonna really end the show. Can you please tell what we did to your kids last Wednesday? Oh my gosh! <laughs> so I have my show on uh, Wednesday night. And at the end of the show, once we end end the show, Shay and I can still talk a little bit. And my kids happened to get noisy just about that time. And she said, I can hear your kids talking now. And we were just kind of commenting. And she's like, yeah, it's one of them. I can hear a male voice. And I'm like, yeah, that's my oldest. He's loud. And his voice carries and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, you should go out there and tell him you got fired. I'm like, that would be hilarious. I'm like, I'm going to do it. I didn't think it. you would, but you did. <laughs> Again, don't call Kelly's bluff. <laughs> so I take my laptop because I'm sitting in my bedroom. That's where I always do the shows. So I take my laptop and I carry it back out to the front room well, like I normally do. So that was nothing unusual. But I have the screen pointed towards me so they can't see that Shay is still on there. And I just told her, I said, be quiet. Don't say anything. And I walk out there. I'm like, is it impossible for you guys to be quiet? I was on my show. And they gave me this look like, but we, I'm like, no, you don't understand. I just got fired. I don't get to do my show anymore because you guys were too noisy. And she said, it's enough, enough. I'm done. And they're starting to get like these panicked oh, looks. Wait a minute. Like, wait a minute. All the boys in the room were like, oh my God. Except the one girl says she doesn't have the right to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to my daughter. Yes, I didn't use her <laughs> name, but yes. She said something, right? That's what she said? She can't yeah. do that. She can't do that. 
And I started laughing. I'm like, no, tell him. No. <laughs> so I turned the camera around. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> I turned my computer around and showed him that Shay's on there. I'm like, I'm just kidding. But she did hear you guys. Yeah. They were dying. They're like, we thought you were serious. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> As I said, if I do that to Katie, she'll know. She, she won't know me, but your kids don't know me, so. Oh, yeah. it was it was epically awesome. It was, it was so much fun. It's payback <laughs> and labor. That's right. That's right. Okay. We do have to figure out something to do to Kate, though, for that whole Alexis thing she pulled on you. Oh, my God. Yeah. I we'll have to put our heads every together. chance I get because that's not cool. <laughs> it was kind of funny. <laughs> All right, we've been on the air for almost two hours, but I'll tell oh my the story gosh, for okay. anybody that's not listening really quick. <laughs> yes, we do the show every Friday, unfortunately, for listeners. <laughs> and this is how it goes. Um, so my daughter got an Alexa. And all of a sudden, I hear her alarm clock going off. But I think, this is a couple days later, I think it's the alarm clock. And I realize it's the Alexa thing going off. I'm not a technical person. This took me a long time to learn how to do all this stuff. But it I know it's it was like Teen Wolf a Game of Thrones soundtrack, so I <laughs> knew it was her alarm. So I'm like, Alexa, stop, Alexa, stop. And it would stop, but then it would start right back up. And I'm like, Alexa, stop and it would stop. And I'm like, Alexa, please stop. So now I start recording. Next thing you know, it's re- it's I'm recording. And French music's going off. Kate was getting ready for her France trip. So I'm like, okay. So I'm messaging her. Is this you? And I send her the video. And she's like, no, it's not me. So it keeps happening, keeps happening. And I'm like, if this is you, I'm going to kill you. And I'm now I'm so mad. I'm sending voice. What's that called? <laughs> voice, uh, voice messages, voice it's I don't a know. voice text, but she can hear my voice, like uh-huh. sending videos back and forth. I'm like, I'm gonna if this is you, stop! I'm gonna kill you. Sean <laughs> Mendez starts going off, <laughs> and now I'm like, I know, and I'm recording the Alexa, because I'm like, Alexa, stop! And it stops, and 20 seconds later, Sean Mendez comes back on. I'm like, I know this is you, and I'm gonna fucking kill you. My exact words. <laughs> well, little did I know, it really is her and she's in class and playing the videos out loud. So the class is laughing because I just told my kid I'm going to effing kill you. And yeah, it was her. And I'm like, if this doesn't stop within 20 seconds, Alexa is going out the window. Period. <laughs> And all of a sudden, when did you know it stopped? But yeah, she amazing. Played she played it. amazing. So, <laughs> all right. So that's the last story. We've been on. This is the longest show in a long time. We've been good up until today. So you know, we deserved well, a long one. Good. I, t- <laughs> I just took a potty break. Nobody knew, but I did. <laughs> so. um, Sunday, the skeptic <sighs> and the psychic, eight p.m. Join then. Next Wednesday, there is no Realm Walker. I'm taking the day off because I'm going on vacation. Yeah, well, there's no show Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Well, Friday, there's pre-recorded. So. So, yeah. Yeah. Still totally worth listening to, but. Yeah. And Charla Harden will be on into the abyss uh, Saturday, July 2nd. Ah, 6th. July 6th. All right, guys, good night. Thank you very much for tolerating us. Who is, who turned their ringer off? All right, hold on. One more question. Who turned the ringer off? Did you turn your ringer off, Kelly? My phone wasn't making noise anymore, yes. I think he was abusing himself that it kept dinging. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was going to say. All right, guys, good night. Um. So... See you in 
couple weeks actually because it's pre-recorded next week so we won't technically see you but all right guys well they never technically see us but i mean if we're getting technical about this yes yes i know we're a hoot thank you and that's how i'm leaving the show good night night it's the wrong mouse sorry i have two two computers two mouses that's why i was stalling i couldn't find that would be mice that would be mice Mises. Mises. Mooses. Geeses. Gooses. Thank you for listening, and for all things Paranormal Buzz Radio related, check out our website at paranormalbuzzradio.com. Like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. 